so good afternoon student <coughs> today we are to discuss the fuel injection system okay so let's we discuss the layout of common rail fuel injection systems so look at in this diagram this is the part of the fuel injection system in a diesel engines okay so what is the title the title is common rail fuel injection system what are the components operated by rocker arms single unit injection system pump fuel tank drain cork feed pump filter reed pole and common rail so these are the components of the fuel injection system what is common rail fuel injection system guys okay so it is very easy let's to discuss now what is bp work so we have already discussed the various type of the components what are the components in fuel injection systems so in fuel injection system what is the function the function is means uh, components if you consider there is the one fuel tank then there is a what is uh accumulator will be there then there is a high pressure uh, relief wall okay then a uh, spring and needle walls then a uh, cam follower rocker arm will be there then wedge and packing gland so these are the various components include in a this a uh, common rail fuel injection system that is called as the crdi <coughs> so as you know in the diagram of the crdi the high pressure pump is used means there is a, this pump will be used which is a very high pressure pump supply the fuel to the accumulator so inside there is one accumulator the fuel is supplied inside the accumulator or header from the fuel tank so from the fuel tank the fuel is supply okay to the fuel feed pump into the accumulators and in case beyond the limit the high pressure relief wall will be there okay this one third number high pressure relief wall first uh, second uh, and third uh, high pressure relief wall which is connected to the accumulators there is accumulator guys okay and the accumulator help to reduce the pressures so unwanted pressure is removed with the help of this relief valves now this fuel from the accumulator supply to the engine cylinder using a fuel lines with the help of solid injectors so there are the uh, if you observe here there are the means with the help of this we have to supply here to this solid injector guys okay from this fuel supply lines another spring loaded high pressure relief valve is used to maintain a constant pressure in the system for smooth operations so which is not shown in the diagram this is another one pressure relief valve be there it also return the extra fuel to the accumulator and to the fuel tanks so it means from the accumulator once again is transfer here inside the this fuel tank guys in the diagram you can see the needle valves it is used to control the opening and closing of the nozzle Uh, which spray uh, which spray the what is the fuel by measuring the cams these are the means uh, operated with the help of this uh, rocker arm will be there guys okay so the cam is connected to the spring with the help of this rocker arm and lever during the dwell period of the cam spring with the help of needle valve to prevent the injection of the fuel into the cylinders then packing gland ensure the level of the fuel above the wall of the seat for better injection of the fuel into cylinder the wedge plays the main role in the system to control the amount of fuel to be injected into the cylinder accordance with the power required for engine the wedge is operated by governor it can be operated manually as per the requirements then what are the advantages of this uh, common rail fuel injection system so crd system can control the flow of fuel in accordance with the load and speed of the engines means what is to control 
the flow of the flow of fuel okay this is the advantages second is this system require only one fuel pump for a multiple cylinders there is a only one fuel pump is use for multiple cylinder guys this is the second advantages third is common rail fuel engine system is beneficial for the environment and reduce the noise smoke and particulate matters means reduce smoke and particulate matters this is the third number advantages fourth is guys the main uh, advantage of the crd system is of fuel economy this is the most fuel economy guys and last one is what is it give high power output at a low rpm is high power high power at low rpm so these are the advantages of this common rail fuel injection system then what are the disadvantages you to consider so this system is complex than mps system and need good engineering work okay these are the disadvantages you to consider disadvantages good engineering work is required good engineering work is needed okay then crd system cannot suit ordinary engines not beneficial for ordinary engine guys ordinary engines then another disadvantage is the maintenance cost of the system is very high and vehicle of the crd system is costly in comparison to the non crd system vehicles then here where is the vehicles use crd system nowadays all the premium or semi premium vehicle use the crd system in their vehicle as it gives more advantages over vehicle in the market following vehicles are using the crd system mercedes tata motors hyundai and toyota so these are the some uh, simple working of this fuel injection systems okay guys now after that we have to discuss the another fuel injection system what is individual fuel in injection system so from the name we can understand what is the meaning of this individual fuel injection system so look at their components what is high pressure pump drive shaft injection pump pit pump fuel tank drain cock okay then what is there guys you to observe here filter screw pressure relief valves okay so these are the component of this individual fuel injection systems so how it will be work let's we discuss guys here this is the our fuel injection system so see here so same here from the fuel tank the fuel is removed okay the fuel is removed what is with the help of what is with the help of this feed pump there is a connection of this feed pump will be there so this feed uh, pump is remove the fuels so individual pump will be used there from this feed uh, pump is to remove the fuel then transfer here it is transfer inside the filter then from the filter this uh, there is a pump drive shaft this uh, with the help of this pump drive shaft this pump will be operated guys then there is a high pressure relief valve to release the unwanted pressure from this individual pump fuel injection systems okay so from this uh, individual means uh, if you consider here from the individual uh, pump so there is a different type of the injector if you observe there 2 1 2 3 4 like that guys so individual pump and nozzle in this system each cylinder is provided with one pump okay and one injector so this type differs from the unit injector in that pump and injector are separated from each others if you observe there they are separated from each other guys okay the high pressure pump plunger is actuated by the cam and followers there is also the cam and follower mechanism will be there guys 
there is a injector pump if you observe there is a injector pump what is the function the main objective of this fuel injector pump is to deliver accurate a meter quantity of fuel under the very high pressure at the correct instant to the injector fitted on each cylinders okay so with the help of this we have to supply from fuel injector pump okay then after that this result over fueling at high speed at low speed the engine tends to stall due to the insufficient of the fuel so to overcome this injector pump governor or generally used two type of the governors will be mechanical governor or neural pneumatic this governor then there is a this fuel injector will be there so quick and complete combustion is ensured by well designed fuel injectors so by atomizing the fuel into very fine droplets from that very fine droplets it increases the surface area of the droplet resulting in better mixing and subsequent combustion guys okay is there properly combustion will be there so atomization is done by forcing the fuel through the small orifices under the very high pressure so from very high pressure guys from the very high pressure the fuel is come out from this injectors okay from very high pressures an unwanted pressure is released from this pressure relief valves so injector assembly consists of the following components there is a needle valves compressing springs nozzle or injector body like that so operation of the fuel injectors so fuel is injected by a pump the pump exerts a sufficient pressure of force that leaves the nozzles okay the nozzle will be lifted from the fuel injectors the spring tensions and hence the valve operating pressure is controlled by adjusting screw at the top when the nozzle valve is lifted up fuel is spread into the combustion chamber as the fuel supply is exhausted the spring pushes valve back on the seat guys so these are the simple uh, constructions and working of this individual fuel pump now second one is what is cooling system a system which control the engine temperature is known as cooling system the object of the cooling system is to keep the engine running at the most efficient operating temperatures a cooling system in the internal combustion engine that is used to maintain various engine components at a temperature conductive to the long life and proper functioning so these are the use of the cooling system then what is the necessity of a cooling system guys there is the cooling system is provided in ic engine for the following reason what is the first reason the temperature of the burning gas in the engine cylinder reaches up to 1500 to 2000 degrees celsius which is above the melting point of the material of a cylinder body and head of the engine so therefore if heat is not dissipated it will result in the failure of the cylinder materials so due to the very high temperature the flame of the lubricating oil will be get oxidized and that producing a carbon deposit on the surface and this will result in piston seizure due to the overheating the large temperature difference may lead to distortion of the engine components due to the thermal stresses set up this make it necessary for the temperature variation to keep it minimum so high temperature also lower the volumetric efficiency of the engine guys so requirements of a efficient cooling system what is that the two main requirements of efficient cooling system are it must be capable of removing only about 30% of the heat generated in the combustion chamber too much removal of the heat means lower the thermal efficiency of the engine second it should remove the heat at fast rate when the engine is hot so during the starting of the engine the cooling should be very slow so that different working parts reach their operating temperature in a short times so what are the types of cooling system there are two type of the cooling system one is air cooling system another is a water cooling system so what is air cool system air cool system generally used in small engines say up to a 15 to 20 kw and in aeroplane engines second in this system the fins or extended surface are provided okay fins or extended surface are provided on the cylinder balls cylinder head etc heat generated due to the combustion in the engine cylinder will be conducted to the fins 
and when air is flow over the fins the heat will be dissipated to the air guys we observe always this is the our cylinder and over the cylinder the fins is like that from the fins the heat is transferred into the surroundings the amount of heat dissipated to the air depends upon the what is the amount of air flowing through the fins fin surface area and thermal conductivity of the metal used for a fins okay if you observe in air cooling system light so these are the fins will be used here this is the exhaust this is the inlet this is the cylinder this is the inlet wall this is the exhaust wall after the combustions this fins will be heated okay you observe guys in every engine two wheeler or four wheeler this means generally in two wheeler engines okay cylinder with a cast fins so whatever the heat will be generated this heat will be removed from the fins into the atmosphere we know the heat mcp dt outlet uh, inlet temperature minus outlet temperature difference so this is the air cooling means the when automobile will be moved the air is continuously strike on the fins okay and this air is remove the unwanted heat from fin into the surrounding guys okay. so this is the explanation about the air cooling system <coughs> so what is the advantage of this air cooling system following are the advantages of air cooling system what is radiator or pump is option in the system is light this is the first in case of water cooling system there are leakages but in this case there is no leakage guys okay coolant and antifreeze solution not required here in air cooling system this system can be used in cold climates where if water is used it it may be freeze right what is the disadvantage of air cooling system comparatively it less efficient it is used in aeroplanes motorcycle engines where the engines are exposed to air directly so this is the simple explanation about the air cool system now another guys we have the what is water cooling system how engine is cool with the help of the water so in this method cooling water jackets are provided around the cylinder or cylinder head or wall seats is around the cylinder heads means there is a cooling jacket will be provides okay to maintain the temperature of this piston and cylinders the water when circulate through the jacket is absorb the heat from the combustions so after the combustion of the fuel inside the engine this water jackets is absorb the heat from this engine parts so this hot water will then cooling the radiator partially by fan or partially by the flow developed by the forward motion of the vehicles the cool water is again recirculated through the water jackets so what are the types of water cooling system there are two types of water cooling system one is the therapy thermo simple system or natural circulation system second is the pump or four circulation system guys so what is the thermo simple means it is it is transferred by naturally means by density difference density difference so in this system the circulation of the water is due to the temperature difference means difference in density of water so that this system is not required but water is circulated because the density difference only so this is our radiators this is the engines the heat will be transferred removed from the engines once again pass into the radiator this is the air is continuously flow over the radiator cool down the engines once again settle down at the bottom so this is the thermo simple uh, system effects if you observe here thermo simple system cooling this is the collector tank at the bottom this is the radiators this is the air coolings this is the header tank this is the filter cap this is the horse pipe and this is the engine and this is the fans so this from the collector tank this cold water is circulated across the engines and engine will be cool So after the engine is uh, cool, the heat is transferred to the waters. So this hot water is rises in upward direction through the horse pipe and comes into this header tank. From the header tank, once again, is come downward through the pipes. So due to the 
एयर कूलिंग अरेंजमेंट दिस वाटर इज वंस अगेन इज कूल्ड एंड सेटल इन टू द कलेक्टर टैंक देन आफ्टर दैट वंस अगेन फ्रॉम द कलेक्टर टैंक इज सप्लाई इन टू द इंजिन वंस अगेन द कोल्ड वाटर दिस इज द कोल्ड वाटर कन्वर्ट इन टू द हॉट एंड दिस साइकिल विल बी कंटिन्यूअस सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द थर्मोसाइपन सिस्टम so added the advantages it is very simple system low initial cost what is the disadvantages as the circulation of the coolant is maintained by a natural convection only the cooling is rather slow very slow therefore to have adequate cooling the capacity of the system has to be large due to the quantity of the coolant being large it takes more time for the engine to reach operating temperatures radiator header tank must be located at higher than the top of the cylindrical cooling jackets which is more possible with the modern body snow no more possible so this is the explanation about guys natural circulation systems okay so second we have the pump or for circulation system so this will be discussed in our next lectures so thank you